Today we're gonna be taking a look at the AC Dagen. This is the, the final weapon in the line, so it's all the way at the back. Uh, this weapon is really, really awesome. Uh, this is something that I really main with a lot when I'm playing Shay, mainly because it's fast and it also does a really good amount of damage. Especially when you're fighting against an antagonist or if you're playing as an antagonist, you can do a lot of damage to players with this thing. Uh, the way I have it set up right now, I put Bounty Hunter on it, so I landed up uh, maxing it out with Bounty Hunter. But if you really want to be like efficient with as much damage as possible, you can go with um, Hero Killer to max. That way you're doing a uh, player, elite soldier, and boss damage really high. And then also uh, Exterminator, that way you can kill the regular enemies faster too. Um, that's if you want to optimize it. For me, I'm using the Bounty Hunter right now because I mainly wanted to work on trying to get a character that actually can build up gold faster. So that's why I got this. But um, if it was up to me, though, I would respect it back to having Hero Killer and Exterminator and then just forget about Treasure Hunters. Forget about that stuff. But yeah, this weapon's pretty awesome. We're going to jump into a mission. That way you guys can see exactly what this thing is like. Okay, just made it into a mission. So uh, the first thing about this weapon is that it's basically similar to what the, the default weapon is for Shay, where you have to actually build it up when you're aiming at the target. So pretty much you want to aim right at the, at the red dot, right in the center. That's the best way to, to be able to do damage. So let's say like right here, you see, the, you see the red dart right in the center. You want to aim right for that. But the thing that's really awesome about this weapon is that it actually charges extremely fast. So you'll be able to like pump out a lot of damage real quick. You see like this. So basically, you don't have to fully charge it if you don't want to. Uh, if you want to do the most damage possible, then yeah, you can go ahead and fully charge it. Like, I'm going to fully charge it, charge it on something over there. You see, I one-shot it in. It's already down right now. So basically, I can run up and just go get them. The only downside to this weapon, though, is the, the reload, um, like the heat exhaustion on the weapon can be kind of crazy. You know, like you see, I already built it up to half, and I only did two shots fully charged. So now I'm going to have to press reload. And every time you press reload, you're going to have to, like, it will, it will like, uh, exhaust some of the heat at a time. So, basically, you got to keep spamming R, like, to reload over and over and over until it finally reloads to full. That's the biggest downside to it because it can take a lot of time, especially when you're trying to fight, like, a boss or something. Or if you really need to get into combat, you have to really make it a habit of, like, reloading all the time. Otherwise, you're just going to be, uh, like, a sitting duck sitting there reloading, 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 and then... You're, you're going to be stressed out that entire time, too. So you have to keep an eye on that as well. Uh, so that's the biggest downside with this weapon. But other than that, this thing does a ton of damage really fast. And uh, and you're able to take out, especially players. Players go down so quick. Like, rush this. Boom. Down. That's pretty much what a player, what it would be like when you fight a player, too. It would be the same way. So then you can just go up in melee, take them out. Really awesome support with this weapon. Because you can be able to just take out all the, the ones with the olive on it. So basically, Olive right there, boom, that one's down. Take out that guy, take out that guy. You see, you go to work. You go to work. But you see, now that I've, I'm max heat, I have to sit here reloading for a while. See, and it takes a long time. So this is the biggest downside with the weapon. Um, if it had it, if it was similar to what the base weapon was, where it basically just exhausts all the heat in one shot, it would be awesome. But since it doesn't, you're, we're pretty much stuck with what it is right here. But it's nice that it does really good damage. That way, you don't have to be sitting here, you know, um, trying to, like, you know, get the full potential of the damage. You know what I mean? Like, it, it still does really nice damage, even if you don't fully charge it and you just spam the hell out of it. One shot. Take him out. There we go. Alright, so now this last bit. Oh, 
Oh, he fell off the cliff. Alright, I need uh, two more. Or three more, rather. Okay, there goes one. Down. A little better. Come on, two more. There we go. Yeah, I just love how fast this thing is. Just makes it so easy to kill an antagonist, kill a boss, no matter what it is. It's just it's all about the quick burst. It doesn't it's not very sustainable. There we go, done. Alright, let's get out of here. But that's the weapon. This is definitely worth it. I This is probably one of the better weapons that she has. Uh, I haven't got the gold weapon yet to test that one out and see what that is. But uh, once I do, I'll see if that's any better than what this is right here. Because this is definitely one of her best weapons that I have so far. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Later, guys.